Hey everybody, welcome to the turn one video for Battle Report Lhasa. If you haven't watched the introduction video, please go back and do that because it will outline all of the rules and it'll give you a basic understanding of what's going on here. All right, so Lhasa, four main sectors. The players have elected to land in three of them, green sector, orange sector, and blue sector. One unit is elected to land in green sector. Landing in hex M5, Tien has moved his unit northeast, detecting a two skull unit in K4, he moved forward to destroy that unit. The drop in blue sector was a little strange. Four units dropped to take the gun battery, three main units, and battalion supply. Battalion supply was dropped there in order to keep the other three units in supply while they attacked the gun battery. Unfortunately, the intelligence wasn't quite accurate. It seems there's defensive gun batteries set up all the way around the naval battery. All four units landed on one of these defensive positions and had to engage a two skull mission each. The battalion supply did not take part in that engagement. Orange sector is where the players had decided to put their main thrust, trying to capture the airport and storage facilities in order to have access to supplies all across the island. Nine units were dropped here, including battalion HQ, which is one of the units that keeps everybody here in supply. Six of the units decided to attack the airport straight out, hoping to strip it of its mobile defenders on turn one. T4, 4M, OR, GM, BT, and CC all attack the airport, while BI, the HQ, and FC all attack the storage facility, hoping to lower its defenders. BI took on the 2.5 fixed mobile unit in the storage facility, wiping it out. The main thrust of the airport wasn't quite able to eliminate all the defenders, leaving a one-half skull mobile unit in that hex. FC and HQ managed to reduce the mobile units in the storage facility down to 8. Turn 1 was a free turn for our players as they caught the enemy by surprise. And by the end of turn 1, the supplied fighter cap was able to supply the players with some intelligence about the units they could see on the ground. In green sector, it looks like there's a two skull mobile unit roaming around, while the main units on the base are both three skulls, a three skull fixed mobile mech unit and a three skull base defense unit. There's also a four skull mobile unit moving around the coastline. In blue sector, other than the surprise drop on the fixed emplacements, it looks like there's only a 1.5 skull fixed convoy and a 1.5 skull fixed emplacement on the coast. Orange sector is a little different. The docks house 11 and a half skulls of mobile units plus two skull base defense. Just southeast of that, there's a three skull fixed mobile unit to the north, there's four skulls of mobile units plus seven skulls of mobile convoy units. North of the city, there's also a three skull fixed and a two and a half skull fixed unit. Three skulls of mechs and two and a half skulls of convoy. To the east, there's one and a half skulls of mobile units and a fixed 1.5 skull convoy unit. End of turn one seems to put the players in a pretty good position. They end turn one with initiative, moving into turn two. So they'll have their choice of units to attack. And that's the end of turn one for Battle Report Lhasa. Have a look in the description below for the links to the battles that were fought for people who have recorded them. And please, if you're clicking onto other people's channels, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments, please drop them in the comments section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.